Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, Docio tutorial on creating a class template. Now we've learned a few neat things about uh, Docio so far, how to create custom checklists, custom mark sheets, custom rubrics, and it might seem like a lot of work to put in every single time you start a new class, but the good thing is all you have to do is put in all that work to create one class and then you can create a template to create all your future classes for this year and for all the years to come. Let me show you how we do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select the class that I want to use to create a template with. So I'm going to click, select my test class here. And as you can see, here is my test class with uh, my tabs over here on the side with my students and some of the marks that I have uh, collected for them so far. What I want to do is I want to create a template of this class that contains all of these tabs and rubrics that I've created but doesn't have any of the students in it. So in order to do that I gotta go up here and click on this share button. <clears throat> when I click on that it gives me this option here. I want to include all the tabs, all the tabs that I have created for mark sheets, for custom checklists, for attendance, all of that will be included. I want to select the option to not include students. I want this to be a template, something that I can punch in all of my future classes that doesn't have any current students in it. So once I have all that done, I click on the share button up here, and that gives me the option to open in and that's something I'm going to do if I want to save this file in my Dropbox or in my Google Docs. Or I can just go ahead and send it to myself by email. Or send it to a colleague. Once I click on email, it automatically generates an email for myself with the template file listed right here. As you can see, it's a .idocio file, which means the only app or program that will be able to open this file is idocio. So once I have all my information put in, let's go ahead and click send. Okay, now here's that email, here's the file I just sent to myself, the .idocio file, which is my template. Same process as before. If I want to open this up in another program, let's go ahead and click and hold on the file. That brings up this menu here. So I want to open this file in idocio. So there, as you can see, it imported a Docio test into my Docio. Uh, it has a little asterisk next to it because there's already a class with that same name. So it didn't want, I don't want it to overwrite the class I have in there already. So this is the class that I've just imported. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and you can see how it's different from my Docio test original. So everything's in here. All of the tabs are here that I created. The rubrics are here, but no students. So now I can use this template. Now that it's here, I can use it to set up a new class. Same process as before. I'm going to import students into the class. So I have an Excel file here. Same as before, I'm going to click and hold on that Excel file. Opens up this menu. Click on Open in iDocio. Then it goes Importing File. And here is the next step that's important. It's going to ask me if I want to create a new class or if I want to append data to a class. If I go ahead and I create a new class, that'll just create a brand new class with no tabs with all my student names in it. But if I append data to class, then it asks me which class I want to add these students to. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the iDocio test template that I just imported. And it gives you a little warning here saying that if the class was not empty, a new tab will be created for the students that you're importing. This class is just a template, so it is an empty template. And voila, we have all the tabs here in the template. All the students are here, ready for a brand new year of marks to be entered. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. When you go ahead and put in all this work to create a great class with lots of good tabs in iDocio, you only really have to do it once, and you can use that template to create classes over and over again. See you next time.